And then uh, he, he sings them all, so I love that from the website. It's from the Gaithers, and he was in the travel with the Gaithers yeah, for a while, didn't he? Yeah, all kinds, yeah. yeah. Just any. We are live, folks, back in the studio, Smoky Mountain neighborhood on uh, Mountain Fun Life, right here in good old Pigeon Forge, heart of the Smoky Mountains, at, w, at the DDX Studios right here, DDX Media Studios. Is that right, Bob? DDX Media, get it right. DDX Media, right here. <laughs> hey, Bob, how about you roll that beautiful bean footage? All right, I'm on it. <laughs> back in the studios right up here in Mountain Fun Life, right in the heart of Pigeon Forge at DDX Media. And today I've got a good friend of mine, Alan McMichaels, right here in the studio with us. Alan, so glad that you came today, Thank you, Jim. Glad to be here, man. Uh, we're Always. glad that you're here, my friend. He uh, is part of a company, a uh, nonprofit organization here in, in Tennessee called Fostering Hope Tennessee. And he does a lot of great work with foster children. Guys, the foster children epidemic is ludicrous across the whole country and Alan this was something that was near and dear to you when you saw a problem you stepped forward and 100 percent of what go comes into your organization goes to foster kids yes that's unheard of yes and I'd love for you to tell us a little bit more about fostering hope and what it does for foster children here in Tennessee okay, great uh, this is a uh, thing we started back in 2013 at a family vacation on the lake uh, pouring down the rain we said what we're going to do we had a all the grandkids just kind of sitting around. So we talked about what we could as our family. We got a family, 25, 30 of us in the family. So we said, what can we do to give back? And uh, of course, my granddaughter, Shantae, is uh, in the foster care system. She was in Boston and uh, she found a child that was uh, sitting on the curb and she was sitting there with the trash bag. And uh, so she came by, picked her up, take her to another home. And that's their mode of operation. It, they are trash bags and they're very famous for foster kids equal trash bags. So we said, I think we can do better than that. And uh, there's 900, well, there's 10,000 state of Tennessee. 10,000 foster kids in the state of Tennessee. Around eight to 900 just in our area right here. Wow. Seven, seven eight counties. So we say, okay, what can we do? And she suggested about backpacks, fill them up with items based on their age, uh, suitcases for the older kids. We have kids that go to college. Hiawassee College is a great college for foster children. Uh, they even let them stay during the summer if they have no place to go, which is great. And so those kids would come time. We had one come in with three trash bags getting ready to go to college. So put yourself in that person's shoes. You're going to college, 18 years old, with trash bags. It's kind of hard. So we gave her almost brand new suitcase and she's ready to broke down. She never had anything given to her in her life other than just movement and trash bags. So, so that's where we went. Uh, we had a passion for it. My granddaughter works for Bethany Associates. Uh, Adoption services right now, and she has five foster kids that have been adopted. So I have five adopted great grandkid foster systems. So I'm in wow. the system, <laughs> plugged in. That's awesome. And she has a baby four four months old getting ready. She, uh, he's in a holding pattern for number six. Wow. Plus she has two other kids that are under guardianship through the court. So she has eight kids, and uh, so we're invested in uh, children. We know what they've been through. They're all pretty well drug related. Just about every one of them have been through. We had one mother was taking drugs to the day the baby was born. Wow. I mean, you just want to, you know what, hang them by the whatever. You know, I, <laughs> well, it's like true. The, we do feel that way. Yeah, it is. I know. Yeah. But it's uh, it's sad. So we do what we can do. And then we have events uh, during the year. Uh, we have a Christmas party, uh, picnic time. And then anytime DCS, we're kind of on their speed dial. So if they need something like one day, they had six babies come in. So we sent them six packet plays. Uh, we bought those. So. But most of our money is raised. We have a great network today group that really helps us with our funds and things we need. I just say, hey, we need this, and they go raise the money for me because most of the time I'll write a check and then find the money later. Right. Like right. Guy Penrod coming to town, uh, I bargained with them. Got a great price for them. He's probably a twelve dollars to $15,000 man to come in town. He's, I mean, he's up there in the charts. 
Now, so, Guy Penrod, for those of you who don't know who Guy Penrod is, <laughs> he is that that really tall, what do they say, a tall drink of water? Tall drink of water. With long, uh, hair. long gray black hair. Yeah. And he ran and traveled with the Gaither Vocal Band for quite a while. Quite a while. He's and a lead singer. Uh -huh. He's a tremendous vocalist, guys. And I, I'm sure if you look him up online, just look up Guy Penrod on YouTube and you'll, Listen to you'll hear him sing. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this. We, we've got a thousand seats available for the Guy Penrod concert. And all the money that is raised for this concert is going to Fostering Hope, Tennessee. That means that money is staying right here right. in the local area, which is incredible. Um, myself, and, and this is not a plug for me or my wife in any way, shape, or form, but over the years, my wife and I had uh, came into a situation years and years and years ago, and we'd always said that we felt like we wanted to do something in, in, with foster children if it ever arose. Right. And, and something arose. And we looked at each other and just said, this, we have to do this. We, we don't have a choice. We have to do this. Right. We saw a, a child... We saw two children taken away via DCS because of unfit parenting. Right. Um, and this was a horrible story. But watched the kids freaking out, the parent freaking out, mm -hmm. and here we are in the middle of it going, what do we do? Yeah. And we looked at the kids and we just said, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that you get into our home. And that was when Wendy and I started doing foster care. Yeah. And that was... Ah, I'd like ago. to say 15, 15 years, years ago, ago. probably. Tell me about that. Long time ago. Yeah, correct. But when you talk about kids arriving with trash bags, we had our first two kids, and they were with us for almost two years, and it, it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got our next set, and it was four children. They were a sibling group, and they were ages about two, four, six, and eight, uh, two girls and two boys. And they showed up at our house with garbage yeah. bags. Yep, that's it. Now listen, when you, when you know that you're, you have kids come in, they get out of a car, they have no idea who you are, right. and they're carrying their clothes in a garbage bag, okay, Sad. a garbage bag. Yeah. Now, it, it's just because, you know I mean, it takes money to get suitcases and backpacks yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And a lot of time, these kids, they're, they're taken away from their home one night right. and the next day the or... Day. In the next couple of hours, they're in a foster yeah, parent. During home. a drug raid or whatever, whatever's going on. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Now I would say that not every child that we got was a drug related. Yeah. The four kids that we got didn't have anything yeah. to do with. That was back 15 drugs. years ago. Yeah, it was now, 15 years ago. It's all 99 percent. Yeah. Every one yeah. of the foster. Shantae has five, and everyone's got problems. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a it's a horrible epidemic. Yeah. But someone had to step up. Yep. Okay, and you stepped up. Yep. You saw a need, and now there's this fostering hope tennessee yeah and too, too. you're giving you're giving something to those kids and when those kids get something okay and most kids in the foster care program they think that they're just a check right and and when we got our kids we told them i said i want you to know this you are going to be on vacation with us mm -hmm. you're going to go out to eat with us right. you're going to go to the movies with us yeah. you are not a check to us you yeah. are part of this family and i said if you see me or my wife treating you any differently than we treat our own kids, call us out. Yeah. And we never had any foster children that called us out. And we've had them from the young ages all the way up to the teen years. And um, it's tough. a lot of our kids are still in contact with, with us today. When we started having grandchildren, our second grandchild, when we had our second grandchild, that's when we, yeah. we, we got out of the foster care program uh, and started to spend more time with our foster yeah. kids, But we, I mean, with our grandchildren. And I guess we were in the system for probably 10 to 12 years. That's good. And yeah. Uh, yeah, once you get in, it's hard to get out of because it's need is always yeah, there. Yeah, it was very difficult to they get out. They need more people like you because right now the, the whole system needs, if they had every church in Knoxville in this surrounding area took one child and, uh, and maybe took care of the families, took care of that child, the whole system would be cleaned. You think about that. How many one churches Christian are in this area? Oh, There's my, thousands. My granddaughter sent out letters to every church in Knoxville and never got a response. If you're just one child, one family, just go behind them, whatever the needs they are, and the system will be taken care of. Right. But anyway, so all we can do is just feel what we can do. Well, have we, a passion for it. we really want this guy Penrod concert to be an amazing thing. It will be amazing. You know, it, he's anointed. He's, he's anointed. something. He's and anointed. folks, we have we have quite a few tickets available. So yep. when it comes down to people finding out about the concert, you've got 
You'll be here. What's the date he's coming? May 3rd. May 3rd. Thursday, doors open at 6 o'clock Fellowship Church on Millbrook Pike. On Millbrook Pike. we got plenty Pike. of room. And we'll have a WRJZ's coming in the booth. And uh, he'll be selling tickets. And they'll be arriving about uh, 8 in the morning on a big bus. So we've got to make plans for him to land. And we're really looking forward to uh, hearing him. Having because him uh, I, mean, I heard him about five years ago. Hope Resource had him in town. And, uh, and then here it is, five years later. I said, he, somebody asked me, his life talk's over. Where'd you come up with Guy Penrod? And I said, I don't know. The Lord said, bring him in. Right. Whatever right. it takes, bring him here. I'll I'll bring you the money. You just bring him here. And so as I sent that fifteen hundred dollar check for down for a deposit, the Lord will provide. He has right. provided. Right. I'm not worried about it. So we have faith. That's you, what you there's one about. thing about you, Alan. You have faith, my friend. <laughs> but that. with this being here, even though this con we are in the Smoky Mountains, we promote a lot of things in the Smoky yeah. Mountains. This concert is in Knoxville, Knoxville, Tennessee, right? um, which isn't a very far drive for you that if you're here in the Smoky Mountains to go see Guy Penrod, it'd be incredible. But know that this this function is to raise money for Fostering Hope, Tennessee. Right. This money goes directly to foster kids in the foster yeah. system here locally to directly benefit the kids. Mm -hmm. OK, yeah. benefit the kids. Right. And it's about the kids. OK. And if you can't go to this concert, still donate. Because we need, the money needs to come in, and that way we can help other maybe families. Well, I have all we the can foster, buy the tickets. Yeah, I've, I've already given probably ten or twelve foster care families free tickets. So that's that's why I did the concert for. I want those foster care families and children that are you know to be able to sit there and listen to him to really feel what's all about to get this music from him and the Christian atmosphere, the people there. That's why I did this for it, not for me or. Anyway, just for those foster care families. That's why I did it for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, if there are 10 families there or 20, I don't matter. If you can't, uh, if you can't come, donate money. We have donate money on our uh, website. And I've got tickets. I've, I've been giving away tickets to families that maybe can't afford it. Right. I had a family the other day, seven of them, and including the grandma. I said, we can't afford it. I said, hey, here's seven tickets. Go for it. I've had people donate, like yourself, Networking Today. Right now, Networking Today has a matching program for 1000 bucks. You give a, a dollar, somebody matches for a dollar. That's I'll wonderful. Hopefully, have that done. So, anyway, so it's been great. Yeah, folks, I'm happy. When you when you sow seed into a foster child, okay, even though that kid and and a lot of people have said, I've heard it said time and time again, that a, a kid will become their parents regardless of what you do. They'll turn into drug addicts. They'll do this. They'll do that because that's what their families were. I'm going to tell you that's not true and that's a lie, because the kids that were in my home. Today, and I'm talking, they've been out of my home, my, sis, my, my house, for 10 years, and I'm still in touch with the majority of the teenagers, and they're all successful. Uh, one of my girls, she just had a baby girl, and she's in Colorado, married, has a wonderful family. She's a phlebotomist. I mean, she's a phenomenal girl and came out of a home that was, you know, yeah. unfortunately, it was drug-related sure. and things like that. But um, that's not her life. No. And I've got teenage guys that... I've got two two teenage um, foster sons, and I don't even like calling them foster sons. I just right. soon just call them my sons. Yeah, there you go. Um, one of them is in college in Florida. Hmm. Uh, he's in the Naval Academy. Sweet. Um, another one is an is a naval officer, yeah. uh, serving our country. Guys, yep. the little things that we do. I want you to know, donating money to us to an organization like Allen's organization, Fostering Hope Tennessee, you can literally change the course right. of a child's life yeah. one thing about it before we end that uh, fostering is uh, it's a different animal you got to go through a lot of research got to do a lot of things you got hoops you got to run through with the state but why would someone go and pay fifty thousand dollars to go to china and bring a child back here when the state of tennessee has children beautiful children here and we'll pay you to take care of these kids and we got a free education in the state of tennessee for that child Come on, where are you at? I mean, there's sometimes they'll have problems. They got you know steps one, two, three, four. They got some of got issues, but hey, I mean, if you can invest in a child, in fact, a lot of people can't have children. That's right. But check That's out right. the foster care system. Uh, it, we've got uh, my granddaughter has all kind of information. Bethany Association, Camelot, which is an adoption care agency. Mm -hmm. They got kids lined up, ready to go. Yep. And right here in, in the good old Smoky Mountains, oh, yeah, we've got, got Smoky Mountains here. Children's Home. Yeah, exactly right. And, and that's who we were involved with, with Smoky Mountain Children's oh, really? Home. Okay, and, yeah. um, Great place. Uh, 
What a what a great organization. And man, I just commend you for doing this, getting Guy Penrod. Yep. Guy, thank you because listen, we know that you're doing this pretty much for nothing. Yep. You is. know, it takes a lot of people to put this together and you're probably just paying the people because you're not charging yeah. what it normally uh, costs nope. to do a concert like uh, this. Yeah. And uh, we're just so thankful for you coming to Tennessee and doing this for the foster children mm -hmm. here. Again, that people can go to fosteringhopetennessee.com and or guypenrod.com. Right, or call me. Or call Alan. And what's that number, Alan? 865-414-6892. And I have specials. If you've got 10 people, you can range 10 people. I get tickets for $20 or a family pack for $50. But if you can't afford it, call me. Right. Guys, we want I'll to see you there. <laughs> we will see you there at the Guy Penrod concert. What's the date again? May 3rd, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Doors open at 6. All right, guys, remember, keep that smile on because it looks good on you. We'll talk to you next time.